Imagine dominating the skies with an aircraft so advanced that it became the symbol of Japan's power in World War II. Hello Book Foxes! Welcome back to At The Book Fox Summaries where we simplify books for your busy life, one compelling summary at a time. Today, we're diving into Zero, the story of Japan's air war in the Pacific, as seen by the enemy, written by Masatake Okumiya, a Japanese naval officer, and Jiro Horikoshi, the chief engineer behind the plane. Published in 1956, Zero provides a rare insider perspective on Japan's aviation strategy during World War II, focusing on the legendary Mitsubishi A6M0 fighter plane. The Zero was an engineering marvel and the pride of Japan's Air Force. This book uncovers its rise, fall, and the samurai spirit that drove the pilots who flew it. An absolute must-read for aviation enthusiasts, Zero has cemented its place as one of the most iconic works on military aviation. The story begins in 1930s Japan where military engineers and leaders sought to build the world's most advanced fighter plane. The Mitsubishi Zero was the result, an aircraft designed for speed, agility, and power. When the Zero entered combat in 1940, it changed the course of the Pacific War. Pilots flying the Zero dominated the early air battles from Pearl Harbor to the Philippines, outmaneuvering Allied forces. The book vividly captures these triumphs and the sense of invincibility the Zero brought to Japanese airmen. However, as the war dragged on, the tide turned. The Allies quickly adapted, developing faster, more powerful aircraft, leading to the Zero's decline. It's a gripping account of the rise and fall of one of history's most iconic warplanes. At the heart of this story are the pilots, trained with a warrior ethos rooted in the samurai spirit. They were not just skilled aviators, they lived by a code of discipline, sacrifice, and loyalty. Masatake Okumiya, one of the co-authors, brings personal accounts of these pilots' lives, their training, and their deep commitment to their country. Jiro Horikoshi, the chief engineer behind the Zero, shares the challenges of developing a warplane that was revolutionary for its time. You get a sense of the passion, ingenuity, and dedication that went into crafting this legendary aircraft. Now let's delve into some of the most impactful phrases from the book. The Zero flew like a samurai, precise, fearless, and always willing to take on the impossible. This phrase established the connection between the plane's characteristics and the samurai spirit that inspired its pilots. Our greatest enemy was not the opponent in the sky, but time itself. This quote emphasizes the struggle against rapid technological change and the pressure to stay ahead in the arms race of the Pacific War. In the cockpit of a Zero, a pilot was not just fighting an enemy, he was defending his homeland, his honor, and his very life. These phrases not only highlight the technical and historical aspects of the Zero, but also bring out the emotional and human elements that make this story so compelling. A central theme in Zero is the pursuit of excellence and innovation. The plane was a technological triumph and symbolized Japan's ambitions, but the book also reflects on the challenges of maintaining superiority in war. Innovation alone wasn't enough to ensure victory. As Japan faced mounting losses, the honorable samurai spirit took a desperate turn. The tragic transformation of the Zero and its pilots into kamikaze fighters. Pilots became willing to sacrifice their lives in suicide missions to protect their nation. Additionally, Zero touches upon the devastating impact of the bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki that not only forced Japan's surrender, but also marked the ultimate end of air combat strategies that the Zero had once embodied. This mixture of honor, sacrifice, and relentless dedication speaks to universal themes of loyalty and resilience that resonate far beyond the battlefield. The narrative is captivating, especially in how it portrays the personal stakes of each pilot. The detailed descriptions of the Zero's aerial prowess and the bravery in the face of adversity create a gripping storyline that goes beyond mere military history, showing their bravery and the emotional toll of war. The vivid descriptions of the dogfights make you feel like you're right there in the cockpit with them. In conclusion, Zero gives a detailed and gripping account of World War II from a Japanese perspective. It's ideal for those interested in aviation history, war strategies, 
or simply understanding a side of the story that's often overlooked, you'll walk away with a newfound appreciation for the skill, courage, and sacrifice of those who flew these planes. And here's a bonus tip for those who made it to the end. Check out our summary of Catch-22. It's a fascinating contrast to Zero, offering a different perspective on the absurdities of military life. What did you find most interesting about the Zero's legacy? Let's keep the conversation going in the comments. Looking to dive deeper into this thrilling story? Grab your copy through the links, Bellows. Thanks for joining us, Book Foxes. If you enjoyed this summary, hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on more books simplified for your busy life. Hit the like button, share with friends, and turn on notifications to stay in the loop. Books simplified, minds amplified. See you in the next summary.